Wait, what? Oh, man! Where are we rising to? I think I can see the top of the tower above us. If we stay on this platform, we could still make it something. To where Solus is hiding. That's what he was finishing oh, off with. Oh, but this is when we find out that there's pirates nearby. Yes? No? Whoop. Whoa! Oh, so they puff away after two hops. <gasps> Balls. Aww. Yeah, once again, going into... Oh, skip You're that. You're going to have to... Yeah. We want to stay on this side. It's interesting that a game about flying eventually becomes an issue of gravity. I think you're supposed to use every every single one of them to their most. Yeah, I know. You, you hopped I hopped off from of, one yeah. to another. I also have very sweaty hands. I don't do great <laughs> with like. I I'm good at combat based platformers, but I'm actually really bad at, at platforming platformers. Yeah, because oh. I played a lot of combat platformers. You know, Mega Man, um, Valda's Story. And you missed that one. Wow. You see, that's the one you had to. I know. Be on. I know. To get I, I missed the first one. I know. I know. I know <laughs> what I'm doing wrong. It's just. Because <laughs> yeah, I I never played Mario growing up, which you know is where like all, practically all of these like real true blue platforming games Problem draw is, their I've roots. I've only ever played 3D platformers. Yeah, I've played a lot of 3D platformers, um, but I know I never had a SNES. There we Great. go. Otis, I don't know what's going on. Try to hold on. Fuck. Please tell me that's a checkpoint. Fuck. No. Because, like, I landed on it and then floated, but there wasn't anything to go to, and I can't fly. And uh, <laughs> This is really hard on my... Star cloak. This is hard on my... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how boring this would be if I had the star cloak? Well, we don't know if the Star Cloak gives you infinite flaps or just normal flaps, but I swear, since this is the Mesosphere, which is very close to the, like, Extrosphere and stuff, I'm pretty sure that the Star Cloak is referring to, like, this part of the sky. Being able to fly in... Where did you even go? I was off the screen. Great. Okay. Stay afloat, Otis. Up oh, frozen. They're going to pop out when you use them. Yeah. The tower's up ahead, Otis. Oh, they're on a Teleport us to you when it's safe. Okay. Safe point. Ow. My fingers. What's happening? Uh. Ah! Oh, wow. Wait, I can fly? There's just enough air. Oh, yeah. It's like updraft time. Oh, God. Don't be another... Avoid the rocks. Don't be another lava snake moment. Well, it's not spinning around, so... Okay, cool. I can dodge roll while I'm up here. Oh, I like their floating look. Um, I can't believe it. I believe we are witnessing the end of the world, my friends. 
We ourselves are floating. The floating continents are rising into space. This is the end. It's happening so suddenly. What has Solus done up there? Yeah. Whatever Solus is doing up there, we have to stop him. I see his tower above us. Let's go. What the? Huh. Well, that was a reflex. Or something. <laughs> you grabbed I, Alphonse. I didn't shoot. I grabbed him and he's like, ah! And shot. Okay, so you can still switch him out. Ooh-hoo-hoo. -hoo. So this is the tippy top of the tower. I thought that the owls were trying to smack everything back down into the ground. Why are yeah, so why is I, everything... I actually get the feeling we're fucking up here. Like, we shouldn't be stopping him. That Solus knows this is the end of the world and he's trying to stop it. And we're misconstruing... No, but the gravity's going the wrong way. If they really wanted to make things safe, they would try to p put all the land masses back on the ground. Wherever the ground is. Fruit. That was not worth it. Well, what does the purple do? It's just a little bit of extra HP. It's just comically little to the point of why? Uh-huh. How did you get up here? Never mind that, Solus. Quickly, we have to... No. I, I've told you already, I'm not interested in what you you have to say, but I'm using the relics. That's all. I'm nearly finished here. Please, don't get in my way. Repeating. I call upon the power, power of the hex relics. Aren't you going to read it in his voice? Oh, sorry. Mold us back into one form. Let the oceans feel the rain of stone and fire. So you can't interrupt him? I mean, I can. I can move around. For this loop and every loop that will come. Repeating. Okay, talk. Right. I don't like this, Otis. I, I thought Solus was our pal, but he just isn't listening at all. Not to us, anyway. Yeah. I'm not sure what to do. If he doesn't listen, we may have to stop him. I told you, don't disturb me. I'm at a critical stage in the process. What are you... He won't listen... He won't listen to us three, Otis. I'm not sure what to do. Well, see you later, I guess. Nope. Let the oceans feel the rain of stone and fire? Smack him! Or something. Uh, ah! What are you doing? Have you gone mad? Snap out of it, Solus. The relics are too dangerous. Have you forgotten what happened in Advent? N no one can use them, ever. We have to destroy them. You have to see sense, Solus. We'll help you avoid the pirates' retribution, but please stop this. Using the relics for power will only make things worse. That's right. We'll stop you if we have to. Uh, I don't have time for this. I've been telling you guys to leave me alone. I give you lots of chances, but it's clear you guys don't understand. So, I I guess I just have to make you leave. So what, is he going to become Super Owl? So he just teleports. Can you grab him? Look at the look at the reticle on him. Nope. Huh? I just I just blasted off one of his his relics. Can you dodge There's through not it? much I can do about that one, I think. You could have dodge rolled or tried. Oh, I tried dodge rolling. Oh, right. I remember what, what I'm supposed to do when he does that. You're already supposed to spider shot your way? Yeah, because that makes me invulnerable and passes me to the other side freely. 
Doesn't look like he's capable of being hit that way. Yep. yep. Now he keeps buzzing in and out of existence. Can you blast him or do anything? So it doesn't look like I even need to contact with anything, as long as I'm shooting. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly not even sure if I'm able to hit him. Oh. Well, yeah, use... Why aren't you using Alphonse? Or gumming him up. Um... Not sure, honestly. I'm just not sure which character... You uh, haven't tried Alphonse, though. Yeah, I'm hitting him now. Yeah. With the gumming. Well, he doesn't have the relics on him, does there he? There we go. Oh. Got him. Maybe? Or not. How did he get him back? I don't know. Phase two, I guess. So each of the characters has one thing that they can knock off. It's color coordinated. Oh, so what? The green relic, the red relic, and the blue relic? Yeah. So, um... Yeah, there you go. Green. Red. Yeah. Much easier. Mostly. He gets faster, though. I think. Or he's doing something new now. Oh, oh. Shit's happening. Shit, weird shit's happening. Laser beams, watch out! Okay. These I can dodge. I've played enough bullet hells in my days to be able to deal with this. Whoa. That's no, okay. Go twig. I'm I'm playing as the right character for this. I assume Twig does damage. But at this point, I don't even see the relics anymore. Did he fuse them with himself? Yes. Presumably. Wait, is he changing colors? Because you might have to shoot him when he's a certain color, or no? I or that. <laughs> Blast! Oh, slow mo, dramatic drop. Uh, no, I I can't move. Now you listen to us. Stop this power crazy stuff. Using the relics is going to get people hurt. No, you're wrong. I'm trying to help. By using the relics? Don't you remember Advent? Those things are weapons. No. No, 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 no. That's not what the relics are made for. That's just how Molstrom used them. Huh? Please explain, Solus. I didn't want to tell you this, but I need you to understand. I'm going to tell you of the great shame of the owls. The hex and the anti-hex. The relics were created long ago when the owls lived at the planet's surface and the floating islands did not exist. Owl technology was beyond our imagination and the owls studied the deeper secrets of the universe. The relics were made after the owls made a fateful discovery. A discovery that sent owl society into infighting and chaos. The loop. What is the loop? I am not certain, but the owls were obsessed with it. They worked for centuries in a desperate struggle to find a way to end the loop. Finally, they found a solution. 
a, a hex that would alter the laws of nature and end the loop forever. The relics were designed to be the fuel for the hex. So, what happened? Did the hex work? Uh, it was the biggest disaster in the history of the planet. I don't even know if the hex broke the loop. That should have been the least of their worries. The hex backfired, shattering the planet's continents into floating islands in the sky. Mm-hmm. We knew it. And the planet was reduced to a giant, empty ocean. And the islands are still rising. You must have seen it outside. The world is ending. Time is running out. In a matter of days, we'll all have risen to cold, unbreathable space. But the anti-hex. You mentioned something about the anti-hex. This library was built to find a way to bring the planet's expansion under control and reverse it. When I found it, I learned that the owls created relics, which had been absorbing power for centuries. Now they're ready to be used for the anti-hex, which will bring uh, the islands back down to the ocean. I knew it! That yeah. is what I am preparing. An anti-hex to save the world. And why didn't you explain it to them earlier so we didn't have to beat up your butt? Man, you should have told us, Solus. Why didn't you try it? Why did you try to do this all on your own? Uh, I, I didn't. I got the pirates to help me by promising them power. Tricking the pirates led to the destruction of Advent, Solus. I, I just, I didn't know of anyone who I could trust. Let us help you finish this anti-hex. Come on, Solus. What do we have to do? I, I. You just have to... Oh, no! Is that... The pirates. Ah! Owl boy! You traitor! I'm coming for you! <laughs> oh, man. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh... Oh, man! Oh, man! The captain... Is here. Look outside. The world is. It's all coming apart. Uh. You have run off with my relics, owl boy. You dare betray me. I, I haven't betrayed you, Molstrom. I'm trying to save you and everyone else. I'm trying to prevent the planet from being destroyed. <sighs> well, I'm dead. Oh. No! Otis! Are, are you alright? So you're saving the world, is that it? Why would I care if the planet is destroyed? Give the relics back to me now. Please, I, I can't. Uh, Otis, take this! Super Owlboy? Super Owlboy! No. Oh. What happened? Is Matter Master Otis breathing? Uh, yes! Good, get him out of here. I'll keep the captain at bay. Hurry, Master Getty! Twig! I can't hold him for long. Uh, uh... We have to get Otis up. Uh. Hurry up and get away, Otis. We'll hold him back. Twig, follow me. Hurry, Otis. Uh, Otis! We can't run away. Please, I can't move. You have to complete the anti-hex. Repair the totem. Hopefully that will be enough. Oh, so you have to crawl over? Oh, and... The strings are just... 
They're stretching out. Oh no! Oh, hey! Jump up! Can I can't. Okay, there we go. Fine. I guess I just have to keep spinning. Okay, so we should be able to jump now. Oh, it's taking away all your health, though, because you were given the relics. Yep. He's gonna die! Otis, get out of there! You told him. <laughs> Otis! Oh, no. Otis! The, the, the anti hex. It's emerging from his body. But is he. Hum. So this is what your treachery is about. He's gonna try grabbing it. You think this is enough to stop me? <laughs> I'll crush this little hex of yours. Kablooey. <laughs> Otis! Someone help Otis! What's up with you? My poor voice. <laughs> hey, it's this oh, section again. Oh, he's a spirit. This is where his master would usually be standing. I shit flower petals. Hey, shh. Don't say something like that. Otis, how has school been lately? I hear Osseo might take you under his wing soon. You're so lucky, Otis. Hi, little Otis. Wanna drop by my place sometime with Fib and Bonacci? We'll play drums till the sun sets. Oh, the old man. Hi there, youngin! Wanna join me in the hot spring? No? You're a hard worker, Otis. Just like the other owls. Oops. Well, get hot spring anyway. Hot spring. How the, oh, wait. I can fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got so used to not flying that I started platforming everywhere. We. Otis, do say hi to Lydia and Scops for me. I hear you'll be stuttering, studying under Asio soon. He hand pick you, picked you, I heard, and I'm glad he did. I think you two will be a great fit. I don't know who the two people's names were. I think they were the other owls, like uh, the other owl kids uh, that maybe. were teasing them earlier. Maybe? Yeah, uh, no, those were... Benio or oh, yeah. Lanita or something? Well, L Liletta, he just mentioned or something. Okay. Oh, Solus. Otis, I'm glad you're doing well. Y you don't recognize me? It's Solus. Listen, um, I don't know if you think of me as a friend, but I always thought of you as my only friend. I hope the next time we meet, it'll be under different circumstances. There's so, so much I want to tell you. Oh, the graveyard.
Welcome, Otis. I'm very glad to see you again. You're probably wondering where you are. You're not dreaming. You're seeing visions of the past, and the future, and from today. You may not remember any of it, but it is real. You grew up with good people, Otis, full of affection for you, and hopes for your future, and regret for things said and done. These visions are our gift to you. The truth, I think, is often the greatest gift, especially since people are so prone to forgetting the things they should cherish the most. You must have many questions. Come, sit down. Is everyone going to be okay? Getty, Alphonse, Twig, and all the rest? Yes, Otis. You succeeded out there. The fact that you're here means the anti-hex worked. What will happen now? The islands will be sinking. Your generation will know the surface, as we did. Thanks to you, the world will be whole once again. It will be difficult to adjust to life on the surface after all this time. Wait, oh shoot, my, my like shooter cursor showed up for a hot second. I want to see if I can get it back. <laughs> but it will be overcome. I hope you don't blame us for what we've put you through. We tried to change the universe, and we paid a price for that. You paid that price, too. In order to end the loop, we were willing to do anything, even risk our future. Your present. I'm not sure I understand. It doesn't matter. All you need to know is that we wanted to discover the nature of the universe, and in doing so, we lost ourselves. Maybe one day, in this life, or the next, you will learn about the loop. But, there are far more rewarding things to learn about the universe than how it ends. You're probably worried that this is the end for you. Don't worry. In this world we've created, there's always a second chance. Our time is up. And I know I'm not the only one, but I've always believed in you, Otis. All right, now we have to dodge the islands as they are settling back into the world, which is really hard because they're freaking enormous. But we can do it because... <laughs> Since no. they've been drifting around, would they even settle back into anything, any kind of semblance of what they were before? Yeah, not sure. I, I could imagine it would be pretty frightening if islands were also crushing each other too, just because they happen to be sitting on top of one another. This is it. Yep. There's no... I, I hope, mean, there I hope, might be another... I hope there's after credit stuff. I or... hope so, too. Unless there's, like, a true ending, at which point I'm going to be a little bit crankles. Especially if I have to go through all of that again. Ah. <sighs> well, Otis spoke. At least well, in spirit Well, he was in the spirit, spirit world, form. so go figure. The one thing I do like about indie games, their credits are short. <laughs> well. What was the game? Yeah, Mass Effect 1. I think w the credits were like seven minutes long or something like that. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, the Avon Orchestra. Flute, yeah. clarinet, oboe, bassoon, violin, viola, cello, and bass. Did I tell you about Journey Live? No. Really? Was it just the Journey Orchestra? Sort of. Uh, so when Bird and I went to MAGFest this year, I can't believe I never told you about this. Um, they had an event called Journey Live, oh, which the was... Oh, of Molstrom. So they did have like, some a little bit. sound effect yeah. voices. Yeah. But so they had um, Austin Wintery, the you know composer for Journey, as well as an entire orchestra up on stage playing music. 
as somebody played Journey. Mm -hmm. And so it was a full orchestral playthrough of Journey, and they would do the dynamic soundtrack thing too, reacting to how the player was playing. Interesting. Which was really cool and really beautiful. <gasps> here we are, here we are. And I'd actually love to see somebody do that with more games. Maybe not this one, just because the music wasn't as big of a part, but still. Do I have to press a button? I just... Oh, just better not just plop plop. Oh, you can see the... This little sparkle. I know. Well, he's burning up as he re-enters the atmosphere. <laughs> Should have brought his thermal plating and parachute. I want to find out what happens to everyone. No! I wonder where it would, where it would drop me if we continue. Right here. Ah. Memories of Veli flood back to you. So yeah, if we want to go back and uh, return to Veli and go for completionism, we can. If it turns out that there is a true ending for this game, I will uh, go back and do it. But if there isn't, then uh, I guess this is going to be the end of it. We'll see. I, I just really wanted to have little cutscenes about you know what Alphonse is doing I always, after. I always afterwards wish and games would actually do that. Something with Getty. I, I always like. I know it's sappy, but I really. Because at the end of. The Legend of Zelda games, usually you you see all the characters that you interacted with uh, going about their daily lives. And I mean, if you'd ever seen the ending of Ocarina of Time, it was like that. All that you were put back into the past. So it was sort of one of those, it was all a dream kind of situations. <sighs> Uh, I suppose everyone else is upset that there's no yep. cutscenes after the Yep. Re it doesn't to look the world. like there's a true ending or anything like that. So it looks like, yeah, that was in fact the end of Owlboy. There is side quest collectible stuff that we can go back and do if we really want to. I mean, I suppose it leaves things open to interpretation. Yeah, um, but it's kind of also one of those where like I guess it just feels like we went through all this struggle, and it'd be nice to see at least a little bit of society rebuilding itself. Uh, I thought it would have been really <clears throat> cute and heartwarming if they all found Otis again. Yeah. I I will admit, I, I actually always am a little bit saddened when games do this, where it's just like, the end. And I'm like, no, give me the epilogue. I want to see what happened to the characters. Like, just... Give me some closure. Yeah, Even though it seems kind of like tacky to do so and like Cuz I could see, you know, Twig's father and brother being like, you know, you finally found some good friends and Yeah. You know. Oh well. And uh Alphonse obviously having a new purpose. Getty, I don't I don't really know what Getty would have done. Yeah. But well, he would I guess just when it comes down friend. to it, it was still super enjoyable. Oh, I know. It was so cute. Oh, well. So what was the loop then? Was the... I, I assume the loop is just the universe starts over when it ends. No, no, no. But what does that have to do with continents rising and falling? Why did they think that well, no, raising the, continents uh, into the sky was they the didn't. answer? They didn't. That was an accident. They were trying to end the loop. Imagine if, like... Say, 6,000 years from now, humanity realized that the universe was going to blow up and then start back over again. And time would more or less just be in a constant state of looping. But we don't know that if that's the case. I, I'm just saying, that's, I think, what the loop is. And I, I, I'm assuming they leave it open in interpretation. And maybe I thought there's the more loop would like have that. just been some kind of weird apocalyptic destructive force that would wipe the slate clean. And they're like, hey, well, maybe if the continents yeah. weren't on the planet, we wouldn't be wiped off. Because, like, but, I mean, from my perspective... Or it could be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. I guess just from my perspective, it seems exactly like how eventually there's going to be the heat death of the universe and, like, you know, all energy and matter is going to be too scattered in infinite space. 
that there's there's going to be no more hospitable planets, stars, or anything like that. At which point, all life and existence as we know it will disappear. And from my perspective, if I, mean, I were to live that long, I, w- I wouldn't reason, be surprised if in the next couple centuries, Earth has its own issues, whether it be uh, disease. Let's not, let's not get into current events here. Okay. But I'm just imagining, like, if I was a spacefaring civilization with like high technology, I'd be like. Let's see if we can fix this whole like heat death of the universe thing somehow. I, I just think that in that case they would they would just have to planet hop from one system to another where their suns are healthy still. Yeah. Which is Yeah, I don't know. Well, either way, uh that's this is like podcast worthy. So we'll probably talk about this on the podcast uh in a couple of weeks with Keith. And actually, you know what? Bird's playing this too, whenever Bird finishes this game. So we might actually get more into this topic, but for now I think I need a drink. And honestly, uh, I I had a good time with Owlboy. It was as beautiful as I expected, and it was fun. It was a really well done game. Can you go back to the main menu? I don't sure. like leaving everything here with just the Otis world twiddling his ending. fingers. Yeah, <laughs> very true. There we go. That looks this nice. This has some music, and it's in a much better scene. Uh huh. So. I guess with this, thanks everybody for uh, sticking with the the Owlboy series. We had a lot of fun. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. And we'll see you on whatever we play next, which is everything constantly. (laughs) Yep. See you then. Bye, guys.